So joining me in studio, Dr. Kepa Morgan, who designed a Modi O meter, which has been applied in this case, and Willie Jackson Tena Kurua. Uh, Kiriama Akuhata, chairman for the Patuai Tribal Commu uh, Committee, rather, was going to join us today but couldn't make it. Glad you guys are here, though. Um, can I ask you first? I mean, obviously, the big question is: Should the wreck stay or should it go? Um, and then, how to restore Modi to the reef? Can that happen, though, if the wreck remains where it is? I don't think the wreck actually exists anymore as as the arena, and that's the thing that is being missed. It's um, several pieces of wreckage and a debris field. What and does that make? It's a it's a wreck, whether it's we call it the arena or not. Okay. Um, well, I, I think the, yeah, the, the feasibility of getting it out changes. Um, those three pieces might have been um, easier to, well, they would have been easier to remove six months after, but now their integrity has been compromised. So um, what happens when you try and remove them is, is actually not that clear cut. The, the other thing is that some of the material there is hazardous and it does need to be removed um, because it's, it's detrimental to that environment. But on the whole, keep it there? Well, there's stuff there that's going to... If you try and remove it now, it'll cause more damage than you'll, um, you'll achieve. What about you, Willie? What's your view? Well, it's, not, go. Well, it's, not, well, it's not my not my call. Um, and so... Uh, What's your view, though? Well, my view is I'd like to see it gone, obviously. Um, but uh, whether it's um, possible, I'm, I'm not sure. You know, I haven't... Gone, over, gone down there or whatever, but I think that's the right thing to do is for it, for it to be well, taken. I mean, that's a good, uh, it's a good point that you make that it's hard to say, isn't it? It's hard mm. to make a call on that. And that, that's one of the um, reasons that this modiometer, which you have designed, was brought in to help assess uh, what the right decision was. But what, what is it? What's a modiometer? OK, um, so the, the Modi model was created um, about 10 years ago now. Um, the purpose of that is actually to empower Matauranga Māori um, our, our knowledge alongside science. So rather than just making a decision that's based on the scientific, physical realities there, you've got to take into account the relationships with the, the iwi that have whakapapa connections and um, how that impacts upon them over time. So essentially so, you're, you're trying to measure Modi. Yes, we're trying to measure holistically what, uh, what, what different decisions will mean for a Thai tea and the community that's associated with it. So we measure Modi um, of indicators that are relevant to that particular problem. Yeah, there's been so many, been so many watching right now who are saying, that's impossible, you cannot measure Modi uh, using a tool like this. Well, engineers asked me if we could measure Modi in monetary terms, and I said no. Um, I think the idea that you can't measure Modi, that it's impossible, that, that's incorrect. We accept gravity as a concept, and you can't see, hear, smell, taste or touch that, but it explains most of the things that we observe and understand around us. So Modi's we don't, like we gravity. Don't, we don't view gravity as a sort of a spiritual concept, though, do we? We do, so, we do more so with, with Modi. So gravity is a force that attracts an invisible thing that, that is the attraction between planets and the sun, as an example. Modi is the attractive force between the physical and everything else that makes life possible.